Many parents are looking for educational resources for their kids. Leanne Cusack's guest specializes in that. Leanne? Thank you, Graham. Yes, teaching is just part of parenting, uh, but through this crisis, a lot of parents are scrambling for additional materials and educational distractions. Jennifer Flanagan is all about learning and helping others learn. She's the CEO of Actua. I'll have you start, Jennifer, by explaining what Actua is all about. Hi there. Yes, Actua is a national organization that gets kids engaged in building skills and confidence in science and technology. So we work across the country delivering programs normally face to face where kids are, are have the chance to, to play around with all kinds of science and tech. So things have changed dramatically for us in the last a month or so. We're really happy on our website to send people to your website because you've curated uh, a free resource uh, so that parents have something additional to go to. We have some visuals of that, but let's yeah. talk about what it's like for so many parents who are at home with their kids. They're working from home. Everyone is sort of competing for screen time, and it's your reality as well. It is my reality. I have two little ones at home, so there is uh, there's a lot of, and, and we know this. We hear this all the time. Prior to to this uh, this current situation, screen time and who gets screens and when is always a topic of hot discussion in my home, but I know in many many other homes. And the reality is, we are all working hard to balance our our new normal, which is for many of us working at home and trying to get a full day of work in while we are uh, doing uh, learning activities with our kids and making sure that they're not having too much of a, of a slide back while they're out of school. So the challenge is very real and my message to parents is twofold. One is that this is an iterative process. We're going to keep trying things and figuring out what works in our, in our houses. Um, but the second part is not to feel bad about the amount, the increased amount of screen time that is happening in, in many of our homes. Actua curated, as you said, a list for parents because there's so many resources out there. And part of this is just figuring out what to use so actua.ca slash resources uh, really helps with that. It helps by age, what, what resources can be used for better screen time um, and, uh, and, and a lot of things that, that kids can do on their own so that it frees up that time for parents to actually get their work done. And you know that this is a safe site because I, I know you wanted to discuss safety while kids are online more. Absolutely. So when they're, they're online and, and the, the, there's all kinds of ways that you can make screen time more positive and there's, there's educational sites, there's wonderful um, documentaries that they can be watching online. Um, and we, we also know that the social aspect of tech is extremely important right now for kids who are missing those social connections from school. So that social connection um, is very important. The safety piece needs to be reinforced uh, both with parents and with kids, with kids spending increased time online, we need to still remember that there are different safety concerns uh, happening when they are um, using screens. So having that conversation with them, reminding them of privacy and security issues that, that exist, not to share personal information, not to be talking to people online that they don't know offline, and making sure as parents you're talking to your kids about what they're doing online, who, who they might be speaking to, what challenges that they're encountering. So we just want to make sure that parents are, are continuing to be aware that, that online safety is, is an issue and that, you know, that screen time can be, um, be very educational and very helpful. The skill set that parents, you know, have to have right now is it's really vast. So your advice yes. as a mom and as someone who is, as you said, working from home, what would you like everyone to know? I guess exhale or count to 10 yes. is part of it, but. Yes, yes. So it, it, it's, it's really that, um, that experimenting that is going to continue to happen on what works. And for screen time specifically, because that's what we're talking about, I find it helpful just to have points in the day where there is screen time that is for learning. So where they're using some of the great math websites that are out there like Prodigy and IXL, or where they are learning a new digital skill. That is a, is a great one to actually do right now. So things like Tinker, where they can learn to code. We love Inksmith, where the, the website that you've, or the uh, company you've heard about that's doing PPE for frontline workers. They also do educational resources where kids can learn new skills. So have some of the screen time be educational and then have the other screen time be uh, more free time where they can choose what, what they want to play. And a reminder that not all video games, we get a lot of questions about video games right now, and, and not all video games are um, 
uh, are created equal either. So video games like Minecraft, I really like because it's still using those skills that are so important for you, being creative, being strategic, collaborating, following instructions. So we really just want to make sure that we're getting their, their, their minds uh, continuing to, to fire and to work. Um, so that they're reading, they're doing some writing, doing some math every day. And screen time can be your friend in this. So I want parents to stop feeling bad about that <laughs> increase in, in screen time that their kids are having. Jennifer Flanagan, thank you so very much for joining us. And do you have any idea over how many kitchen tables right now kids are saying, I told you so. So uh, the, mine, <laughs> the Minecraft green light has made you incredibly popular. Thanks again. Very nice